Storm Shadows are precision-guided cruise missiles. Their range exceeds 250 kilometers. On July 10, British Prime Minister Keir Stremer confirmed that Ukraine would be able to use British Storm Shadow missiles to strike military targets on Russian territory. In the first days after his appointment as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Stremer reaffirmed the promise of his predecessors to provide Ukraine with military support, about three billion pounds annually. During a meeting with Ukrainian President President Volodymyr Zelensky at NATO summit, the head of the British government emphasized London's support for Ukraine will not change. To discuss with President Zelensky what further support that he needs and to use um, our opportunity here uh, with our allies to make sure that uh, that support is agreed um, and to reinforce, in a sense as a message to Putin, the resolve of NATO, bigger now than it's ever been, more united than it's ever been, and absolutely clear-eyed about the threat of Russian aggression. We are very thankful for your words and steps, which were important. Thank you that you are with us from the very beginning of the war. Ukraine should be allowed to strike Russia with Western weapons for self-defense, NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said after a meeting of the Euro-Atlantic Council. Russia attacked its neighbor, violated their territorial integrity and invaded Ukraine. This is a violation of international law, and according to international law, Ukraine has the right to self-defense. We are helping Ukraine to realize this right to self-defense by providing Ukraine with weapons, ammunition, missiles, including long-range weapons, including Atakams. The right to self-defense includes the rights to strike legitimate military targets on the territory of of the aggressor, Russia. Jens Stoltenberg, Secretary General of NATO, at the press conference during NATO summit. Speaker of the House of Representatives Mike Johnson also supported the cancellation of restrictions on the use of American weapons by the Ukrainian armed forces. This is the will of the United States Congress, he stressed. But so far, the White House has no plans to lift restrictions on the use of its weapons for strikes deep into the territory of the Federation. Let me remind you, Jones is a Republican. This indicates that the Republicans are taking over the initiative from the Democrats in relation to the war. We have to understand that there is an active election campaign going on in the United States. This means that one candidate or another will do and say completely opposite things. So if, for example, the Democrats do not dare to hit targets in Russia on Russian territory, this this means that the Republicans can. Analysts at the U.S. Institute for the Study of War say letting use Western weapons to hit military facilities in Russia will allow Ukraine's defense forces to stop large-scale Russian offensives. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.